Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And what we're looking at is PEX. This is what most houses now are plumbed with, and this is what most houses are replumbed with if you're having your home replumbed uh, from defective plumbing. And so you, you can run this red and blue like you see there to, to let you know uh, which side is hot, which side's cold, but it's pretty much the same material uh, for both. Now, uh, one thing about this PEX is even though it's resistant to freezing, uh, it can still freeze and it can still bust, uh, but it also should be insulated too if it's outside because it's really vulnerable uh, to UV light, even ambient UV light uh, can degrade this uh, product. And so what we're looking at on here is called shark bite fittings. Uh, they work, you know, they do work. It would been better if these were crimp fittings, you know, because it's kind of subjective about how long these will last because it pretty much depends on a rubber o-ring, you know, to keep that sealed. Uh, but so far I think they're probably going to work out okay. It just would have been better to use uh, uh, crimp fittings. Uh, but also, you know, this is a Rena uh, tankless water heater, which is, which is also being run on pro, uh, propane. So you can get these if you don't have natural gas and, and get with one of the local propane companies and they'll come out and either set you a tank or you can probably, you, you can actually buy these yourself and have them filled. And so that's the best second option if you don't have natural gas. So anyway, I figured I'd make this a little short episode, you know, about the importance of uh, you really do need to insulate PEX pipe, if, especially if it's outside. Take care, guys.